So I will I would see like what they will bite on and everything. So once I do the jab dribble, I will have to so to do this move, you will have to have a quick release. And a pull up that's quick as hell. So once I put them to sleep with the jabs and then I jab dribble and they don't do nothing, they just, they just freeze every time I do it to them. So as you see, I made the shot. And uh, I do it both my left and my right. So as you see, I'm doing my left right now. It's a lot harder with the left. And I'm still like, I'm still training to like do this and stuff. And at this, when I came back from PA and I started training again, everything was like a little hard for me because it's been a while since I trained again. But I'm gonna tell you guys, like when this video is over, like, uh, my new plans on my future and career and stuff like that on training and getting better. But right now I'm doing a jab dribble with my left, and as you see, I did make the first shot. It's more difficult as it seems. It's not like that easy because it'll feel awkward at once, but once you get used to it, it'll feel really like good. So as you can see, I'm jabbing. I try to stay low as possible when I'm doing this move with my left. And I make the shot and it goes in. It's not really, like I said, it's not that hard, but it's not easy either. Because, like, it'll feel awkward at first. So now I'm doing, my hand was trash like always. So now I'm doing what James Harden does. He does, like, a, a jab pullback. And that's what it looks like. So when I do this, I, to be honest with you, I barely use this move. Because I barely don't even, like, think about using this move as much. So as you can see in slow motion, I jab, pull back, jump shot. It's really that hard because like you need a lot of handles. You gotta stay low, and you know you know for, you always have to stay low for moves like these. So as I'm coming down, coming down, dribbling, setting up. Yeah, my. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, on this this day, guys, I wasn't. I was really on this day. I was really getting frustrated because it's been a while since I trained. But I still want to show you guys what I know, and just and to perfect as much as possible. So as you see, the jab, pull back, jump shot, and with this move, it just really sets them up, and they will really react to it. They'll back up a little bit, and then once you see you got them, you got react really fast. You can't just hold yourself. But um yeah, on this day guys, I was really struggling. I was like, it's been a while since I trained. It was really windy that day, and that's why my phone's all tilted a little bit as you can see. But um no, I made the shot again. But um it's really difficult with this shot. I barely like use it. I sometimes use it, and now I'm doing my left. The left one really on this day really messed me up because you know, like I said, I barely oh I was still on my right. Thought I made that shot. But anyway. But yeah, I use this move on both my left and my right. I sometimes practice with it. But I know I got practice with it consistently. And um, it really it really helps me a lot. But on this day, guys, I was really struggling. Like I said, I barely, pra I barely trained when I was at my girlfriend's house. Shout out to my girlfriend. I really miss her. I can't wait to go back. But um... Oh yeah, I forgot. And we did like a video over there too, so we're gonna be putting it up soon. But um, yeah, on this day, guys, I was really struggling. I barely trained, and I was like getting really frustrated because when I was trying to shoot, my shot felt weird, my footwork felt weird, my dribbling was ass. I was really getting frustrated because my training. See, as you can see, I messed up my dribbles. Um. But at the end of the day, I still work hard. I still do my thing, and I will never give up at all because it's what I do and it's what I like to do. Basketball is everything to me, and you guys know that. And I will not stop. But you know what? It's, to cut to the chase, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. Um, So on my new ideas, what I'm going to start doing 
I'm going to be um, starting over on my training. And you guys are going to come the, come down the road with me. So what I mean is I'm going to be vlogging on my training 24-7. On doing different types of training, exercises, a lot of drills. <clears throat> I'm not trying, I don't want to make it as long as possible. But even though I want to make training to be long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some, not cut some stuff out, but stop the video on certain stuff, certain places. But um, yeah, that's basically my idea to start over on my training, start from scratch and go up from there to, you know, with me, it's all about being the best I can be. And I want you guys to be the best you can be as well. And, and like I said, I just want to be the best basketball player ever. And I will not stop until I achieve that goal. And I know I motivate you guys, inspire you guys a lot. And I want to keep on going as I'm still training, as I'm posting this video right now. Every time when I miss, I am always going to try again and try again and try again until I get it right. And that's what you guys should do. It doesn't always have to be a perfect shot. As long as you teach yourself consistently and constantly, you will get it momentarily. As long as you work hard, as long as you do what you have to do, it's that's all that matters. Because basketball is everything to me. Basketball is all, everything to all of us. It really is. And I don't care how many times I miss. I don't care how many times you guys criticize me, saying that I'm bad. Listen, I practice 24/7 while you're on the couch. So it's not. So it's just you can't just say that about me if you're, you know. If you're saying all those things, I really don't care what you say as long as I'm working hard. And now I made the shot finally since all those misses. Every time when I work on my game, I just do what I have to do. And every time I play against people, I do my thing. You know, as always, you gotta be ready for anything that comes to you. But anyway, so now is all now's the pull-up jumper. And I I barely use the pull-up jumper as well. Because, you know, every time when I do it, it's not really that good. But I, I try 24-7 to perfect it. I try 24-7 to master it. And I try 24-7 to get it right. Because I know it's all about stopping and pulling up. <clears throat> but to me, I think it's kind of hard because, you know, you need a lot of, like... To be honest, I think you need a lot of, like, jumping power for it. But I think for me, I do, like, much more of my arm strength. But... That's why I wanna. That's why I wanna, you know, um, work on myself, work on myself, working out more. I really want to get stronger. I want I really want to get faster. I really need to work on everything. And I think that when you guys come on, me, come with me on this road, it'll be good. So you guys could do the things that I'm doing. But yeah, the pull-up jumper is difficult. Sometimes because you know you don't know when to stop and shoot. Well, you do know when to stop and shoot. It's all about the timing on what you do. It's all about the uh, the work that you put in. So I think the hardest part for the pull up jumper is mostly the mid range because you're like it's like you're going right into your right in right in front of your defender and you have to pull right in front of the, right in their face. But the thing is, it's hard because you don't know if they're gonna come at you. You don't know if they're gonna back you, like back up a little bit and just let you shoot. The thing is, I know the pull-up jumper does freeze the opponents and it does does a lot. It does do a lot of uh, work. But as you can see, I'm stopping. I'm pulling up. But um, the thing is, guys, like I said, this with this one, with this video, I really hope you guys helped you out. With all the training videos, it helps you out. But, like I said, my vlog is coming. I'm going to be vlogging my training all over again. And I'm going to be doing my thing that I can do best. So, yeah, so now I'm going to end it with free throws. And uh, let's see if I make one or two. Missed it. <laughs> I need to work on my free throws as well. I used to be really good at doing, shooting my free throws all the time. Watch, I missed another one. <laughs> I missed another one. Jesus. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a couple likes if you want another one. Well, hope you guys were ready for a vlog. 
And as always, unleash the beast inside you.